What's going on guys? I just got back from Spirited Drive with some friends tonight. Um, that's the noise you hear right now. The car's cooling down. I just wanted to say, um, the last video I did, a lot of people made requests to see more of the little bits. And honestly, considering there's none for sale right now online, like open up eBay, there's none for sale right now. I said, okay, let's go look at the little bits, show everyone more about this car. So. You know, these Performantes, they just started coming over to the States. And the thing that's interesting is the carbon bits, right? Like you see this hood, right? You can't order that from Lamborghini anymore. And you see up here, the whole roof is carbon fiber. Uh, forgive me, I'm not the greatest photographer. This is not a specialty of mine. I'm filming this, you know, just with my iPhone. And I mean, first off, Look at this, compared to my Dawn, right? Which should be a car that really stops crowds. I mean, this thing makes the Dawn look like a Suburban, okay? The carbon everywhere is just mind blowing to look at. You come and you look at these little mirrors, right? The mirrors are in carbon. You come down here, the wheel arches, they're all in carbon. You have these massive, 17 inch disc brakes uh i think they're the largest in the world i'm i mean they were on the previous urus for a production car of course and they're sitting on these 23 inch rims that look just absolutely spectacular you can see the carbon running all along the bottom over here uh for me i had a urus before this okay and these little bits like look at this spoiler back here okay this spoiler is really cool it adds like 40 percent more downforce or something uh very neat little spoiler the old urus did not have um you, you see all this stuff back here you look this is all new here that was going in the other direction on the other car but this carbon roof right you can't even spec this anymore so i think it's pretty cool that i'm gonna have a urus performante that pretty much nobody else is gonna have it. Look, I live in a big city. I mean, there's six, seven million people here in Houston and nobody else is gonna be able to get one like this. Uh, you know, all the ones coming now are, basically you'll see uh, a plain hood, you'll see a plain roof. Um, a lot of these little bits, like you open up the doors here, right? These red door handles, can't get that anymore. And look at the stitching, right? Like, look at this, like, stitching inside the Performante. Very, very cool. The the old years didn't have anything like that. Inside, what you'll see is the dry carbon in this one. Uh, the dry carbon is a nice feature. I had the shiny carbon in my old one. And I didn't have this Alcantara steering wheel that you see here. Uh, I know it was an option on the later ones, like in 22, but I think it's very, very cool. The um, headliner, you can't really see it here, even though the lights are on. Yeah, you can't see it. Sorry, I can't show that. The headliner is all stitched. It's incredible. Now, when we walk around the car, okay, what you'll notice is the front is different from the previous years, okay? You see these intakes here? They're carbon as well. The, the 2023s, both the S and the Performante have these intakes on the hood. That's how you're gonna know it's a 23. The Performante, you can get them in carbon. Uh, the Urus S, I don't think you can get them in carbon, but um, you can even see down here, right? A lot of carbon everywhere. It's a different front fascia. Um, you come inside the car, okay? Let's look at this. It's not gonna be a cold start just because I got home a few minutes ago, but listen to this. I'll put it in Corsa mode too. Inside, what you'll notice is put on some miles 
482 miles right now and getting 7.3 miles per gallon long term 5.7 miles just now on my drive it is not very fuel efficient but i really could care less this is this is the ultimate family car i mean as someone who has kids look here's the bang and olufsen speakers these are incredible uh not sure i would expect those i actually had not spec those on the one i had built i'm more the type to turn down the music and listen to the exhaust roll down my window but this was the factory demo that I purchased and basically what happened was when they announced that there was gonna be no more carbon for the hood and the roof and all that for 2023 basically they decided to sell the demo and you know they had all their best customers fighting for the cars and I ended up with it and so I'm very very fortunate to have it and it's got a lot of options, like I said, that I personally would not have spec'd. And these Bang & Olufsen speakers are one of them. I had the Sensonum, or whatever it's called, in the one I had previously. And those are still like $4,000, and it was more than enough. But coming down here, okay, what you'll notice is this car has a completely different look inside. And what I mean is, this Alcantara steering wheel is so nice you see this 12 o'clock right here very very cool right and the thing i will say about this is it just has a feel that the other car did not have okay and it's a feel of high end okay i had a um elegante yours right where the whole interior was red um it's a very very nice car or so i thought right and then with this right the fit and finish is just on another level like I said, the dry carbon is a really, really good look. This also has the black pack, right? Where it blacks this out. The one I had previously, it was chrome. Um, just a lot of little bits like that. And what you'll notice with the Performante, right? The old one had Strata Sport, Corsa, and it had all those modes like Sabia, Neve, whatever. This is replaced with Rally Mode which is for when you're going off-road, which I don't even know who would take this off-road. I mean, a $400,000 truck, you're nuts if you buy one. You're even crazier if you take it off-road. Um, I couldn't imagine what the differential or something would cost to fix in this car, but it's there, and in the Performante, they changed it all up, and you can hit rally mode. Now, other than that, it's really the same car, you know? And I know you're gonna get people that say, oh, well, you know what? It's just an RSQ8. I can tell you, honestly, having owned an RS6 uh, a little while back, this is nothing like an Audi. I know Audi owns it and I know Audi builds it. There's a feel, this exhaust, like look, if I open the door, like, do you hear that? I, ha I had an RS6. And it had a massive V8. I think it was like, what, 591 horsepower? It was nothing like this. This is 666 horsepower. They chose that number, right? The devil's number. It was only a 16 horsepower increase over the previous one. And what made this car what it is, is right, the 100 pounds of weight reduction using all the carbon. Now, that alone is very cool, but exclusive is cool right like when you pay this price point right this car was three hundred thirty five thousand dollars sticker at 336 something like that and i paid way over sticker like i said there was like a bidding war for the car when you pay that much money it's nice to have a car you know you aren't going to see somewhere else and so it is nice living in a city as big as houston to know that hey look you've got the only performante with like a carbon hood and a carbon roof and all that so that is very very cool now uh when you're looking at the normal urus right is it 95 percent of this car yeah probably yeah right but this car is not about zero to 60 right and that's what people don't understand right like you see all these reviews and they'll say something like well the old urus can do zero to 60 in just about the same time frame. And the thing is, having put on this many miles, okay, 
This is a driver's car, okay? And what do I mean? I mean like a Ferrari Pista versus an F8 or a GT3 RS versus a GT3. And the stiff steel springs change the drive dynamic so much, okay? Like, the years I had previously, if you wanted to drive, it finally got quiet. If you wanted to drive it calmly, you could put it in strata mode and it was going to drive like a Bentley, right? This new car is unforgiving and I love that. I love that because I do drive race cars. And so for me, being able to get in the car, put it in Corsa mode and have that race car feel in a family car where you can take the kids, right? Because, like, I, I don't have time anymore to get a weekend car, right? I, I, I need a car that is my weekend car every day where I can take the kids wherever we need to take them and still have fun. And I don't think there's a better car in the world than this. And, you know, previously it was this, right? And the Dawn is, I mean, this is an incredible car. Look, look how dirty it's gotten. I haven't used this thing in so long. I need to get it washed, but... Um, the Dawn, I thought was the ultimate four-door car, you know? I mean, this thing, you can put four people in it, put the top down, take everyone. This is a launch edition one. It's got this incredible spec with these uh, beautiful Hermes orange seats. But there's something about the Performante that makes it the ultimate car. And whether it's exclusiveness or the race car feel, I just don't think there's a better car in the world. And the last 500 miles have been incredible. And I honestly, I, I can't see myself selling this car. Like I'm usually the type of person who trades in cars all the time and I'm always getting something else. But this is peak four door car. It's the peak. They're literally after this uh, in 2025, Lamborghini is going to a plug in hybrid and it's gonna have more power, probably north of 800. But I'm really not uh too sold on these hybrid engines you know you yeah, I, i've driven many of them you know like an sf90 whatever there's just a feel that a natural uh internal combustion engine has that i just love now i mean i'm still going to get the new lb744 you know whatever's replacing the aventador and that is a hybrid uh we'll see how that goes but i always want at least one internal combustion car and I've only got two spots here living in a high rise. So for me, this is the greatest family car ever made. Um, you know, I, I've driven the Poro Sangue. I didn't like the way that looked. It drove fantastic. The looks kind of subjective to me, but I mean, again, this hood is just so aggressive. And honestly, without the carbon fiber hood, I would not order the car. So if you're on, the waiting list for 2023 2024 and your dealers told you hey we can't spec the carbon fiber hood i would just ask them to push back your order to 2024 and if they can't get it by 2024 i would just pass because without this hood okay without this hood you basically have a car that looks just like any other urus i i saw what they're using as the demo now and I mean, it, it's night and day. It, it, it's not even the money, right? Like, like the, all the extra carbons, like, I don't know, 20, 30,000 extra. It's about standing out. And they look nothing like this one. And so I definitely suggest you waiting until you can get the carbon fiber. Okay? So that's my take after 500 miles. This is the greatest family car in the history of humanity. It, it doesn't get any better. I don't care how fast the Tesla accelerates, the noise, the feel. This is as good as it'll ever get. I mean, truly, this is, you know, if this is the end of the internal combustion engine, this is a hell of a swan song. Uh, anyways, thanks again. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And, uh, you know, let me know what you want to see next. And when I get this thing cleaned up, I'll, I'll do a video with this. But look at the, look at the hood drove this thing in the rain. It looks terrible right now. Anyways, hope you guys have a great one. I'll catch you soon.